Fuel cells are devices that generate electricity through a chemical reaction. Each fuel cell has two electrodes called an anode and a cathode. The reactions that produce electricity occur at these electrodes. Each fuel cell has an electrolyte that carries electrically charged particles from one end of the electrode to the other. Each also has a catalyst, which speeds up the reactions that occur at these electrodes. While fuel cells generally operate under similar principles, there are differences between the different types of fuel cells that are worth being familiar with. Alkali fuel cells operate on compressed hydrogen and oxygen. They typically use a solution of potassium hydroxide in water as their electrolyte. Efficiency is about 70%, with operating temperatures ranging between 150 to 200 degrees Celsius. Cell output ranges from 300 watts to 5 kilowatts. Alkali cells were used in the Apollo spacecraft to provide both electricity and drinking water to the crew. However, they require pure hydrogen fuel, and their platinum electrode catalysts are expensive. Since they are a container filled with liquid, they also run the risk of leaking. Molten carbonate fuel cells use high temperature compounds of salt carbonates as their electrolyte. Efficiency ranges from 60 to 80% and operating temperature is about 650 degrees Celsius. Units have been constructed with up to 2 megawatts, and designs for up to 100 megawatts exist. The high temperature limits damage from carbon monoxide poisoning of the cell, and waste heat can be recycled to make additional electricity. Their nickel electrode catalysts are inexpensive compared to the platinum used in other cells, but the high temperature also limits the materials and safe uses of this type of cell, as they would probably be too hot for home use. Also, carbonate ions from the electrolyte are used up in their reactions, making it necessary to inject carbon dioxide to compensate. Phosphoric acid fuel cells use phosphoric acid as its electrolyte. Efficiency ranges from 40 to 80 percent, and operating temperature is between 150 and 200 degrees Celsius. Acid fuel cells of up to 200 kilowatts exist, and units up to 11 megawatts have been tested. They are able to tolerate a carbon monoxide concentration of about 1.5%, broadening the choice of usable fuel sources. Though if gasoline is used, the sulfur must be removed prior to use. Platinum electrode catalysts are needed, and internal parts must be able to withstand the corrosive acid. Proton exchange membrane fuel cells work with a polymer electrolyte in the form of a thin, permeable sheet. Efficiency is about 40 to 50 percent, and operating temperature is around 80 degrees Celsius. Cell outputs generally range from 50 to 250 kilowatts. This solid and flexible electrolyte will not leak or crack, and they operate at a low enough temperature to make them viable for use in homes and vehicles. However, their fuel cells must be purified, and platinum catalyst is required on both sides of the membrane, which raises costs. Solid oxide fuel cells use a hard ceramic compound of metal oxides, such as calcium or zirconium, as an electrolyte. Efficiency is around 60%, and operating temperatures are around 1,000 degrees Celsius. This type of fuel cell can output up to 100 kilowatts. At the high temperatures that are output by this type of fuel cell, a reformer is not required to extract hydrogen from the fuel, and waste heat can be recycled to make additional electricity. The high temperature also limits the potential applications of this fuel cell type. They also tend to be fairly large in size. While their solid construction means that they cannot leak, they are capable of potentially cracking. Stay tuned to Galco TV for more tech tips and visit galco.com to view our full selection of products and services.